Welcome to this brief tutorial where I'll step you through connecting the CSU library to Google Scholar. So you can see that I'm on the Google Scholar page and the first step that you need to do is click on these three lines, horizontal lines, the sandwich here, and that will reveal the menu. Go down to settings and when settings loads, you need to go to library links. So when you click on that, you'll see that you're already subscribed automatically to the National Library of Australia, but we want to connect through to the Charles Sturt Uni Library. So if we just do a quick search for Charles Sturt University and search for that, you'll see that it automatically drops down underneath the NLA. And if we click on that and click save, you will now be connected. Now you may need to do this uh, each time you access Google Scholar, depending upon your browser settings. If you have got cookies enabled, it may remember this automatically, but if you find that it's not connecting, it's just that simple step again to remake the connection again. And you can see it says here to retain settings, you must turn on cookies. So I have them turned off for security purposes and you might choose to do the same. And so I just go through and do this each time that I log in. It's very quick and easy. You do need to be able to access the CSU library. So you need to have a username and password. Um, but as a student at CSU, you'll have that. So that's no problem for as long as you're enrolled and you have access. So click save. And now when we go into a search, you'll see that if I just do a quick search on inquiry learning, you'll see that articles are now, now have, not all of them, but some of them now have find it at CSU. This means, technically means that the journal is available through the CSU library. And this is preferable because Although this article is available as a PDF, it, where it's actually stored and located, there's no guarantee that this is the official, most up-to-date publication version of the article. So if it is available through CSU, it is, a, it is prefer, preferable that you go through this. Of course, not all, uh, it doesn't work for all articles. And this is, you can see, this is a book. So that's, I know that that book is available through the CSU library, but it doesn't actually make that connection always for books. And for example, this one here, the Eurasian Journal of Education Research, obviously CSU library doesn't subscribe uh, to a database that houses that, but it is really useful when you are looking. So what will happen is if I click find it at CSU, it will then directly take me through, and I'm already logged in, to CSU. So it should, yes, directly take me to a logged in page. You can see my name up there and it should load with the article. And here it is ready for me to download. Uh, and I can also directly import it into different referencing software, etc. So it's a very handy tip uh, to connect your Google Scholar. And I would encourage you to do make use of this because it does broaden your searching capacity and uh, Google sometimes picks up different items that a search in the catalogue do doesn't reveal as easily.